Will a new power amplifier really improve my sound? Mikhail from Quebec, Canada would like to know. And Mikhail writes, I currently have Focal Chorus 706 speakers with a Denon DRA295 stereo amplifier. Actually sounds like a pretty decent system. Uh, the thing is, this amplifier was not really expensive in comparison with the Focal speakers that I bought. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'd like to improve my system and my amplifier is, or, uh, and my amplifier, um, I think that it's the most, ex uh, the next component to upgrade. When I compare all the specifications with other high-end amplifiers, it seems the same than my Denon DRA295. Do you think I'll really have perceptive sound improvements if I upgrade my amplifier? Well, that is a very tough question to answer in terms of, well, it's all kind of in a vacuum. So, yeah, I mean, generally, uh, if you have a Denon, which is a fine piece of consumer electronics, if you were to go to something like this, you know, which is a BHK amplifier, oh my God, yeah, it'd be huge. Because, I mean, we used Focals at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest and, and all this fancy equipment. And, oh, you know, the sound was to die for. It was just exceptional. And if, if you had been at the show and we had taken that amp out and put your Denon in, you would have gone, oh, what, what just happened? Not that the Denon's bad, just that the difference between the two to compare them uh, it can be so dramatic that if you go from you know, something that you're used to to something else, it's, it can be somewhat of a letdown if you're going from up to down. But I don't think it really answers the question because in reality, what you're wanting to know is what's the next piece of equipment that you should buy. Maybe you have something else in the system that's even worse than the Denon. I mean, I don't know what your source is. I don't know what your preamp is. I don't, you know, I only know what your amp is. And I don't even know what that Denon is. I mean, I just know Denon brand for all I know. It's an integrated. So in a vacuum, that's a very difficult question to answer. Given that it is a vacuum and I don't have more information, I'm going to say yes. And here's why you, for whatever reason, have taken my advice or not. Hey, I'm going to take credit for it anyway, because my advice has always been start with the loudspeakers first. Get the best loudspeakers you can buy and then fill in the gaps. Don't do it the opposite way because, well, there's a whole bunch of reasons why, and we've been through this before, and we'll go through it again. But the right thing to do is to get the best speakers you can. And you know what? You've already done that, Mikhail. You have gotten, oh my goodness. We're gonna do a video about this thing. This is this air conditioner I got talked into buying, and it's the noisiest piece of crap on the planet. All right, never mind. Anyway, um, make mistakes, right? Uh, you've done that. Focals are great speakers, truly. I mean, my son has a pair of bookshelf Focals, loves them. Uh, the, the, I, I, I would think you have probably the floor standers. Excellent speakers. So you've done well. So now, in a vacuum, probably the simplest thing to do is work backwards from the speakers. Get the greatest amp that you can afford. If you're going to go PS Audio, you could go with a, a stellar stack of mono blocks. You could, if you have the, the funds, you could go for one of these. If you're going to go for another company, that's fine. Just make sure that it is up to snuff with the Focals. And then slowly but surely, the preamp would be next, then the sources, then finally the wires. And you'll have a hell of a great system at that point. Do power amps and electronics make a difference? If you have the right speakers, absolutely. They can enhance, they can you know, revive, they can, they can bring life into your, into your, into your music. And, but if you don't, if you have crap speakers, if, you, if your speakers are just, you know, just loafing along doing their thing, then the best electronics in the world isn't gonna do you any good. 
So you've done the right thing. You started off in the right way. And I would encourage you to continue in that vein. Okay? Thanks for watching. Oh! Shameless plug. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta pay the bills, right? 99% True, my new book. It's a memoir. It's a hoot. Learn all the deep, dark, black secrets of my life. All the failures and all the crazy stuff I've been through. And, and, and along the way, you'll probably learn a few things about stereo, too. But it's mostly, you know, just a, a good, funny... It reads more like a novel, okay? I know most people go, a memoir? I don't know. Think of it as a novel. It, it really is like a novel. 99% true. Go to Amazon, type that in, 99 with a percent sign, true, and you'll go right to the page. Get the audiobook. That's what people have been buying a lot of, and I think they're enjoying it. So thanks. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.